Hey folks, like many of you last week, I watched the OpenAI Dev Days presentation. Uh, and I was really impressed and interested uh, with their uh, new Assistance API. The Assistance API supports things like and persistent threads, persistent messages, uh, automatic uh, file chunking and embeddings, and automatic retrieval of data generation. And these are some things that, well, used to require a bunch of efforts to do before last week. Uh, so I was excited and I uh, got to coding that night and gave it a try. And I felt really productive when I was able to build an app, uh, the back end to an app in just a few minutes. Uh, so I think the team at OpenAI got a lot of things right in, with this API. Um, and it's going to make a lot of developers very productive. Um, and so I quickly found myself uh, actually building a server-side implementation of the API um, using our database, AstroDB, which is powered by Cassandra, um, and also has a, a vector search implementation powered by JVector, also known as JVector. Um, and um, yeah, so this week we are announcing support in for the OpenAI API as an AstroDB service where um, all of the persistent parts of the API end up in your Cassandra database and you can access them like any other Cassandra table. Uh, and then the bits that require an LLM, we forward over uh, to OpenAI, uh, things like embeddings and chat completions. Um, and then this allows us to do, will allow us to do a lot of interesting things toward the future. Um, so let me show you how you could do it uh, if you want to point your AI application at our service. Um, let's see. So OpenAI has a cookbooks page where you know they teach folks how to use their APIs. And this specific one right here is an example for the new assistance API uh, with the Python SDK. Um, and so what we did is we grabbed that notebook and uh, we tweaked one line of code, right? So usually you create your open AI client like this. And we added a default header that has an AstroDB token. So that's that's the difference. Uh, and then you can just leave your code as is and you're able to run it against the service. And I'll try to do that now. And so again, so here it seems like it created some, uh, it created an assistant. And so that assistant gets purchased to your database uh, as a math tutor. And then we can create a thread. And so that thread also gets persisted to your database. Uh, similarly with some messages. And then when they create a run, uh, that actually, that's the thing that calls the LLM. Uh, so the LLM will get access to that history of messages and give you a response uh, when you pull here. And so let's see them pull and get a response. Yeah. And so you can just go through and you know follow follow any open AI tutorial um, or just take your existing app and point it at our, at our service. Um, a lot of things can be open and a lot of interesting things can be done in the future, like trying different approaches for RAG in, our, in the back end. Uh, maybe we'll open up support for different models, uh, whether they're LLMs or whether they're uh, yeah, different models for embedding or for chat completion. Um, so it's pretty interesting stuff. Um, so if you're building a new uh, application, AI application with OpenAI, or if you've got one and you want to point it at a different service, um, feel free to give it a try. And I'm work, still working on coverage. And so, you know, here's a snapshot of all the different things that are supported uh, by the API. Um, if you look at some of the old, um, not non-persistent ephemeral kind of uh, API calls, we just forward those out directly to OpenAI, uh, but the ones that actually require managing state gets um, get implemented in Astra here, uh, and these X's over here are some of the ones that are missing. So we've implemented 40 out of 57 endpoints, 70% so far, um, and we'll continue to do more. Um, if you do hit something that's unimplemented, you'll get a non-implemented exception, and hopefully those will uh, get smaller and smaller and go away completely when we finish reaching surface area here. All right, thanks for watching.